So are you guys ready for finals tomorrow? Even in the small, rural community of Grandview, high school can be an intimidating experience for a teenager. How do you know, like, if you got your credits and everything? My transcript's right here. Mm -hmm. It tells you right here your credits on this part right here. That's why Grandview High School participates in a state-supported program that's designed to make this four-year journey less daunting. Hey, Crystal, can I see your checkoff list? Yeah. I think, what, what's your brochure? What is that? It says the, my work experience, my volu volunteer experience, mostly about me, like uh, my top qualities. Navigation 101 is a student guidance and planning program first developed by the Franklin Pierce School District in Tacoma. Today we're going to be talking about letters of recommendation. Have you ever gotten a letter of recommendation written for you before? Because of its success at Franklin Pierce, the program has been replicated in dozens of other districts around the state. Who is going to write our letter of recommendation? This is a very important part of getting these letters. Jessica, who is the first person you would ask? Uh, you. Me. Okay, now why would you ask me for a letter of recommendation? Because I've had you as a teacher. Good. So a teacher that you've had before. Who else would you ask? Grandview High staff took the Navigation 101 model and adapted it to meet local needs. The other thing we wanted to talk about is the summer, the opportunity possibly, you know, having juniors do their projects through the summer instead mm -hmm. of just when the school year starts. They call their customized program GEMS. And I want you to write down three people that you would ask right now for letters of recommendation from. A key feature of GEMS is the advisory program. Advisory classes meet four times a week with teachers and certified staff members leading classes of 20 students each. We're helping those students go from being a 14-year-old freshman at, in high school to an 18-year-old who's prepared for their uh, successful after high school experience, be that college, technical school, a job, um, just whatever it is that they want to do so that they have had a successful four years here. Students work with their advisors on goal setting, communication skills, academics, and of course, their portfolios. The portfolios are presented at student-led conferences, which take place in November and again in March. Mom, this is my GEMS advisor, Mr. Bradley. How are you doing, Christina? And oh, this hi. is my mom. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Okay. I'm here today to review my current grades, my attendance, my progress towards tw post-secondary goals. Students plan and lead these conferences. Parents and advisors are the invited guests. Student-led conferences achieve a lot of things for us. Number one, it puts the student as the actor in their own education, that they, they can explain to their parents what their strengths are, what their challenges are, what their goals are. First, I'm going to discuss my grades. I had a C plus on science, and in math, I got a B. In drama, I had a C minus. In health, I wasn't doing so good. I got a D. What can you do to bring that up? I'm going to do a, final, a project that's worth 100 points, and I have, to, I have two days to do it. Okay. So, I can so you it. have that all in place and you're ready to go on that? Yeah. Okay, good. What I love about it is that the, my child takes responsibility on the grades, attendance, and their career pathway. Gives me a good idea where the direction she's going. These conferences help students plan for life beyond high school. They also help bring parents back into school by providing a structured opportunity to be included in their child's education. It gets me involved in coming to the, back to the high school. In the elementary, I was very involved, and then I felt out of place. Now at the high school, this is, gives me a good opportunity to meet the teachers, and I really like it. I'm really proud of our student-led conferences because uh, one of the best things about them is that we get over 80% of our parents in for student-led conferences, and I think that's terrific. It almost, our numbers almost doubled from our previous conferences, which were just parent-teacher conferences. Clearly and specifically as you can, tell me what to write if I'm going to create this thing called Pascal's Triangle. And how do teachers feel about being advisors? In the daily routine of, of teaching a class, there's only so much time to develop relationships. And with the advisory, we have an opportunity to really talk with the kids about things outside of academics and really get to know them a little bit better. 
you have a plan for college? Yeah, after high school I want to go to YVC for two years, and after that probably go to university and become a social worker. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Wow. You like to help people? Yeah. When you pick up a group of kids their freshman year, and you follow them all the way to their senior year, you really have built a relationship and it's really neat. I mean, it's, it's something that you just can't duplicate without having the, a strong advisory program. And it's really powerful. I have a really strong view that kids need to be in charge of their own education. I want them to understand that high school is supposed to prepare them for their future, not just be something that they survive, but something that, that is here for them. These are the things that you can commit to to help her be successful. Okay. And Christina can commit to those types of things, tutoring and such, to help herself be successful. Oh, great. Did you have a good um, junior year? It was nice meeting you. Thank Likewise. you for your time. Thanks for coming in. Nice job, Christina. You can, you're welcome to go around and talk to other teachers. And see how okay, we'll do that. Classes. Why don't we go talk to that D one that you had?